Hello everybody! Welcome to our live stream of Cape May. I'm Stella from Maple University and I am joined by a special guest, Keith from Thunderworks <laughs> Games. Hi! Hi Keith, how are you? Hey! hey. Thanks <laughs> for being be here. here. Thanks for being here. Yeah. So I've promised the audience that I've got the May in Cape May and you got the Cape, but it seems that you're not actually I'm prepared for that. I, I think I dropped the ball on the May piece or on the cape piece. Like, this is here's a cape. Is oh. that working? Is oh, that yeah. Working? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That would be okay. So, thank you so much for joining me and playing this on Tabletopia um, and teaching me as well. So, I'm just going to quickly say hello to a study in Meeple that says this will be interesting. Looks like uh, looks like a great little game uh, and Patrick this game looks familiar yeah we played with Patrick a couple of days ago um, on tabletop mm -hmm. here um, and Patrick um, you know you've seen Patrick everywhere as well as you can just click on him and you will take you to the YouTube channel and Tim uh, it's May I'm here for the capes and um, I'll be a knock Albertson good evening so yeah good morning afternoon evening it's morning here but probably <laughs> evening for everybody else and Coralu, which is our um you know helper in moderating the chat thank you for joining us Coralu. uh this game first came to my attention in january but i don't remember how so kiss that proves that your advertising somehow works so people <laughs> kind of like seen it before but don't remember how maybe yeah. you know just flash it it's somewhere yeah, this uh, this game's been like a long time coming, and we yep. we showed off the cover, you know, probably six months, nine months ago. Mm -hmm. um, but we haven't we didn't really release a whole lot of information about it until it was kind of uh, getting ready for the pre order campaign, which is live right now. Live um, right now. So now, yeah. So now you can play it on Tabletopia and Tabletop Simulator. You can put in a pre order to grab a copy when it's released, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and we're here to show it to you. I have also put the link in the video description just in case if anyone wants to. So this is actually, this is my fun life and chill playthrough. We play games, we talk about other stuff as well, you know, uh, game related. It could be other random stuff. And Trust. we're gonna, you know, we're gonna have Keith explaining this game and we're gonna play it. And we're going to end up with a torture se a session for Keith, as usual. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm looking forward to the torture. All right. Torture session. Uh, so, Keith, let's have a look on the table here. Uh, now, yeah. before we jump in there, um, you're a busy man because you also have a Kickstarter going, isn't it? I do, yeah. So the expansion for Lockup, which is called Breakout, mm -hmm. is currently live on Kickstarter, uh, which we started... Uh, on Tuesday of this week, and it's a two and a half week campaign, so it'll be done, I think, on the seventeenth or something. Uh, maybe it's the fourteenth. I don't remember the date, but it's it's not that long of a campaign. But it's basically it's an expansion for Lockup. So a Lockup came out, you know, about two and a half, three years ago, um, and it, it had a good run. And it's it's a really fun game about you know uh, managing your crew in Culbeck Prison, and you're trying to get get the right stuff together to build. Uh, kind of counter contraband items and <laughs> and kind of prove that you're the yep. toughest crew. And uh, the new expansion adds like this catacombs board, so you can send your seeker down into the catacombs to do some exploring and potentially find the crack in Colbeck so that oh. they uh, you can escape. So <laughs> wow, escape! Well, excellent. Um, yeah, that's actually I'm actually happened to watch a serious TV series called white collar i don't know if you heard of it i don't know anyone mm. that's chat heard of it that is also um that is also kind of reminds me it's like somebody escaped from the prison but this guy apparently helping the fbi now this criminal anyways very good looking. oh sure yeah yeah good looking guy called matt bomber i was like okay. i swear i'm not i'm not watching it just because of him it is a very good <laughs> game it's a, it's, sorry no game it's a very good series um so tim oh. just tim also just reminded us that uh, Lock Up Breakout is also on Tabletopia and TTS. Hi, Giggles Giggles. We've got a Giggles Giggles joining us as well. Welcome to our yeah. live show. And we should probably uh, start in t um, getting to the game here, Kit. You yeah, so this is Cape May. So Cape May is a uh, one to four player game where you play as entrepreneurs in the city of 
uh, Cape May, New Jersey in the 1900s-ish time period, Victorian era. And um, Cape May, the city, is known as being like a famous resort town. But um, during the Victoria area, they had lots of uh, very uh, traumatic events in terms of like lots of some flooding problems and some fire problems. And you're kind of like uh, walking around the city. You're kind of choosing which areas to develop. Uh, there's You're kind of building up the city as you go. And um, over the course of uh, 12 turns or 12 rounds, um, you know, we'll, we'll be able to find out who's the best uh, entrepreneurial developer of this town. So um, at its heart, it's kind of a, uh, an economic game, um, but also kind of a city game at the same time. Um, so we'll track our, uh, our rounds using this wheel up here. And then these are our, our characters. I'm playing uh, this fine uh, you know, lady in green, and you are playing the gentleman with the cane in blue. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, so what's going to happen is uh, these, this is a, you know, a, a map of the city that's you know, roughly based on uh, the real map of the town. So obviously we've done a lot of research about Cape May and some things. Uh, we tried to include as much kind of details wherever we could about that area and some historical things that happened. But there's also some, you know, some some things we adjust to make sure that the game plays well and all that other stuff. So, um, basically, like I always like to start backwards when I explain games. So, what's going to happen is at the end of, the, of twelve rounds, we'll score and and see who has the best points at, or the most points. So, one thing, um, maybe I should do it a different way. So, on, let's just say on your turn. So, you're playing Kate May on your turn. Uh, you get three actions and you can do one of a variety of things. Uh, the one thing, first thing you can do is you can play movement cards. So everyone starts with a deck of seven movement cards that that are um, that are, are numbered one through seven. Um, and they you start them you start the game with them in your hand. And then uh, one of the things you can do is you can play one of them and then you get to move that many spaces. Uh, some of them, the one, two, the six, and the seven have um, costs on the bottom, so you have to pay money to use those cards. Uh, where the ones in the middle, the uh, three, four, five, do not. And those are, those are those don't those don't have an additional cost to play. And so, if you play the three, you know you can move your character three spaces. Um, if you are notice, there some of these spaces have arrows on them, and that indicates a one way street. So if you are on this space, uh, you have to move in this direction. You can't move backwards. Uh, because because uh, because there's arrows on the street. <laughs> um, there's also interesting additional spaces on the board. There's any of them that have this white uh, gull icon. Uh, so that means you get to pull a random bird token out of uh, a bag, uh, this black bag. And there's uh, seven different species of birds in there, and there's a couple of special ones as well. There's a wild and there's some other ones. And that kind of represents um, bird watching in... Uh, Cape May, which is a, a very common pastime in this area. And there's a lot of like really uh, people go here to do bird watching all the time. So um, there's a few other special places on the board that we can explain later. One is over by the white lighthouse over here, and one is uh, the dock space over here. But anyway, one of the things you can do on your turn one of, as one of your three actions is to move, playing a move card. Uh, the next two things are related. Uh, it's basically a build action. So whenever you uh, are in a space that has a, well, let's go here. There's a lot next to it. Uh, the little white dot indicates that that's, that lot is adjacent to that space. Um, you can build on that lot. So there's the squares represent residential buildings and the hexagons represent commercial buildings. Um, and each one of those types of buildings uh, can be built and then it can also be upgraded. So when you build a, uh, the resident or yeah residential it's a square tile and that's called a cottage and if you build a commercial building uh it's the hexagon tile and that's called a shop and uh if you want to do one of those things it costs money so you look at this spread this uh player board in front of you and it will tell you um how much it costs and it's all dependent on uh the zone that you're in there are four zones on the board. The one in the, the one closest to the wheels, the gravel zone. Then there's the grass zone, and then the dirt zone, and then the sand zone. And the sand zone also includes 
a few properties that are actually on the on the waterfront here that uh, are a little bit difficult to see on Tabletopia, but they're there, trust me. Um, and so when you want to build uh, a on one of these lots, you look at your uh, player board and you look at see the top part is residential, the bottom half is commercial, and you say which zo which zone am I in? So for example, I'm building this green uh, cottage in the grass zone. So I look at my sheet and I see residential uh, square cost me two dollars to build, and then that's going to increase my income by one. So to do that action, I would just put the token out, you know, spend the two dollars, and then I would increase my income on this track over here. So this track is gonna track, um, as tracks usually do, they track things. This one is gonna track what, what your income is. And that's gonna be important um, because at the end of each season, you'll see over here on the wheel, at the end of each season, uh, we're gonna get paid. That's what the money is there. And that, that, that's when you're gonna get, get your income. So every three rounds, you're gonna get paid. Uh, and, uh, so that's that's one action is to build a either a, a cottage or a shop. Um, you'll notice that on the commercial side, if I were to build this, it would cost three dollars, just like the. So it's a little bit more expensive, uh, but also my income goes up by four instead of by one. So commercial buildings are usually better at increasing your income, um, but you're you'll see later that there's a lot of points that you can get at the end of the game by building residential buildings. Uh, the other piece of that that you can do is you can upgrade a building. So if you have a shop or a cottage, you can upgrade it to the next type. So um, cottages get, get upgraded to Victorian. Victorian. <clears throat> yeah. So, and, and you follow the same chart here. So you can see that in the green zone, the grass zone, to upgrade from a cottage to a Victorian, it costs um, four dollars and it's going to increase your income by one um, and then the same holds true on the other side so you're going to upgrade your shop up to a business and so in the green zone that would cost you uh, three dollars and then uh, your income would go up by two but it also has this symbol that says you get a upgrade card and the the upgrade cards are over in the corner over here there's different stacks for each zone um, there's always one face-up card, and then there's some face down and a stack of face-down cards. So whenever you upgrade a shop to a business, you get to take either the face-up card for that zone, or you can take the top card off the face-down stack. Um, and they have different effects. Sometimes they give you points. Sometimes they give you ongoing powers. Sometimes they give you one-time abilities. And we can kind of dig into those as they as they come up. But uh, especially the the ones closest to the, the water, the ones in the sand zone are by far more much more powerful than the ones in the gravel zone uh, because uh, it's a lot it's a lot cheaper to build down there. Um, so you can build, so you can move, you can build, you can upgrade. Uh, the other things are simpler. Um, you can always draw two activity cards, which is this deck right here that has the house on the back um, and draw two, keep one, and we'll talk about those in a second. Um, you can always play an activity card that you have. So you'll start the game with two, and you'll get two more at the end of each season. Uh, but you can you can uh, you can get more of them by taking that act that action above it. And then uh, the last two actions are pretty simple. One is to collect all your movement cards because when you play them to move, you don't get them back. Uh, if you want them back, you have to you have to p uh, use an action to get them. So um, there's that to keep in mind. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But like, um, you know, you can do things where like you play your three movement card, take an action to get your cards back and then play your three movement card again. Like mm. um, there's a lot of kind of cool combinations you can do with yep. that kind of stuff. So, uh, definitely a puzzle, um, movement puzzle. Oh, for sure. Yeah. The third, the other upgrade I didn't talk about um, is that when you upgrade to a Victorian, you can also upgrade a Victorian a second time. And that means that you place this uh, little white picket fence and then you put the Victorian back inside it, which it, in in person is really fun. Um, it's fun. It's fun on tabletop to get too, but it, in person it's, it's even more fun. Yeah. But um, so then that that whenever you want to upgrade to a landmark, it always costs ten dollars, and those are going to give you like a lot of points. And when we talk about scoring, uh, you'll see that. 
Um, before I do that, I want to talk about these activity cards. So I'm going to pull it off the top as an example. Um, so activity cards, you have them in your hand, and they have usually two options of things to do with them. Um, usually the, the top half gives you some kind of discount of how to use it. So that one says that you can uh, upgrade a cottage uh, to a Victorian or any Victorian to a landmark at a discount of $2, which is, you know, it's nice to save money because money can be tight in this game. Um, and the bottom part usually gives you some way to uh, skirt around the movement rules somehow. Um, and this one, this one lets you kind of go back to the starting spot, uh, which is nice if you're, you want to get back there for some reason. So that's activity cards. They're basically built to break the rules of the game somehow uh, and, and lets you create combos and, and accomplish things that you want to get done. Um, the other cards I didn't talk about are these cards with the blue backs with the stars on them. They have, um, those are, are goal cards. You get four of them at the beginning of the game. You get to choose two to, to play, to keep, two to go away. Um, and basically, you keep them till the end of the game, and then you get to reveal them, and those are kind of the things that you are trying to accomplish. They're oftentimes going to give you, you know, a variety of points. Um, and, uh, I mean, they're, they're, they're all based on giving you points, based on meeting certain criteria. Um, and that's nice because they give you some guidance at the beginning of the game. That's true. I did not talk about this, these, uh, these are called event cards. So at the beginning of each turn, we're gonna, besides the first, we'll flip an event card. So here's an example. Um, and they they kind of set the tone for the, the round. Um, some, some of them are negative, and, but I would say about two thirds of them are positive and they're situational and they have a little bit of like uh, history about the area as well. Um, so that one in particular, it's going to give you money for having Victorians and landmarks, um, but and then it changes if it happens to be winter time. So some of them have uh, something that happens, and then it, it's either lesser or greater, or the opposite uh, in another season. So even if you play the game many times, um, the the timing in which the cards come out actually makes a pretty big difference on what they actually do. And that actually um, resolve, um, kids. That's resolve at the end of that turn. So you get it's not like you have that event card and then you're aiming for that, but it's what ha what already happened, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. So yeah. Um, the uh, so the way a turn works is that you re you know except for the first one, you always reveal an event card. Then each player gets to play three turns or three actions, um, and then we move the lighthouse and we do it all over again. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a certain of moments at the end of spring, summer, and fall in which you also get to um, act, activity cards and your income, which is kind of listed on the wheel there. Um, so let's just talk about scoring. I think that's pretty much the last thing. Yep. Um, scoring is uh, also listed on your player aid. You're, at the very end of the game, you're going to take your worker, that you, your little character that you use to track your turns if you need to, and you put it over by the income track to kind of track your points, uh, which are called prestige, like any good Euro game. And uh, mm -hmm. you get points for all your Victorians and landmarks. And up on the board, it shows you this. Um, it says you get uh, points based for every Victorian that you have and points for every landmark that you have. And it, depending on what zone it is, it's worth a different amount of points. So a landmark in the sand zone is going to get you 11 points, which is quite a bit. Um, versus back in the gravel zone, it's only five. So you, you got to keep that in mind uh, where you want to build as you go. Um, and then you also have to do majorities. So um, you take a look at each zone and you count how many buildings you have there. It doesn't matter what they are. And if you have the most in that zone, you're going to get this bonus. And this is um, uh, you get 12 points for the most and eight for the second most. 10, et cetera, et cetera. So you're going to get the majority bonuses are much better in the gravel zone than the, than the sand zone. Um, I might want to look up exactly. There's there's a little bit of a rule change, I think, with two players on the majority. So we can look that up later. But um, So after you do the Victorians and Landmarks and Majorities, then you're looking at your upgrade cards. So those are these those cards you've gotten for upgrading your shops to businesses. Um, some of them may have points on them. Actually, this... This sand one that's up that has four points on it, you would count that at that point. Um, and then you get your bird set. So you're pulling these bird tokens out of the bag, 
whenever you land on these bird spaces. And then um, you'll see at the top of the board, there's a scale that where you're gonna build sets of different birds. So if you have a set of seven different birds, it's worth 21 points and you can build multiple sets. Uh, you just can't count the same bird for multiple sets. So you can have a set of seven and a set of four and a set of one or something. Um, yeah. And you would get, you'd score each one of those. Cool. Um, and then the final things are just uh, and the bonus cards that you got at the beginning of the game, you're going to you reveal them and see how many, how many, how well you executed that mission, basically. Mm -hmm. And then you just get some points for every 10 bucks you have at the end, which usually you don't have, you don't have a whole lot of money at the end, usually. Okay. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Thanks for explaining Question. that. I've got yeah. the questions. Yes. Yeah, so I forgot. So this, if you land on this logo on uh, oh, yeah. the Cape May, you actually get the build a uh, building anyway on the map with for five dollars huh this lets you build for five dollars anywhere yeah. any lot on, on the map yeah right and this one uh you get to draw um I, let me double check but i think you draw three activity cards and keep two okay it's i'm just looking at the end that's uh, all right thanks for that quick. we can play as yeah. well that's okay uh yeah that's a good explanation thanks kids yeah Draw three, keep two. That's it. Okay. Draw three, keep two. That's pretty good. Activity scars is right here. All right. Yeah. So you've now we need to pick the two out of the objective. Yeah. That's in there. Um, and yes, I saw you dealt out the activity cards, right? Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, so Coralu, there's a song about the green dress. Uh, if I had one thousand dollars song was it if i had is it one million how many zeros i think i think so <laughs> i can't um, you know i don't know this is a green green song as they are live streaming would this be like terrence had in a few episodes <laughs> yeah a few episodes ago we had some green screen effect and terrence just keep wearing the green mask and his head keeps oh that's screaming. funny <laughs> it's just like ah. that. we like that behind the screen behind uh, behind the the screen just just stop Playing around. Uh, yeah. Team love collecting the bird tiles. They're so cool. And Coralu, language is important. So no reason to bid in place with remembering another term you made up. It is already existing one like VP, unless it's obviously thematic. That's actually true, yeah. True, true, true. That is true. Because yeah. there's a lot. I mean, it's not that much for me because I've, you know, sort of played it before, but for sometimes when new players, a VP can be called a lot of things victory points. Right. So, yeah. I mean, there's kind of standards that people have used. Mm, prestige. Uh, uh, pre yeah. Prestige is not unusual. Yeah, you know. <clears throat> I just like to, when I do my video, I try to stick to the, um, or mention it. So that's like, uh, the, using the terms that people are already familiar with uh, makes it right. easier to understand, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Who's the first player here? I think I think you are. Oh, I just. Because you're of... the host. I don't know. Ah, I okay okay um i kind of I, I sort of just took this uh because i was like preparing for the live stream it doesn't mean anything it's just the first player oh uh, yeah the, the binoculars is the first yeah, binoculars. Player, yeah okay um i'd like um oh we have to check uh we have to choose our objective first end game yeah i'm i'm discarding the ones that i don't want to do yeah these are All pretty right. hard i don't know if this is actually whether I should do it, I think I'll, I might probably do it if it suits other strategies because, but it is a good point as well. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, I will keep that and I will discard this. Uh, this card here? Yeah. No. It's going back to my hand. Um, could I have to discard one more? You discarded both, Keith? I did. I'm, I'm ready to go. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> ah, okay, I'll, I'll discard. I just, I just picked the two that were easiest. <laughs> the easiest That's a very good there. idea. All right. Um... Looks like I'm fair, so I'm gonna take all this movement card to my hand. Yeah. You can see it there. Um people at home what I have. Well we have 
exactly the same anyway. So I'd like to move. Let's like to check at my thing again. Uh, all right. I would like to move to. Ah, oh, you position the bird so that it, it's not next to building. Ah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Boo. No, that's that's fair. That's fair. All right. One, two. There's a couple of them, right? Yeah. But not many. Okay. There's the one, the double one over here. Is the, that's the money spot where there's two, oh. two of them and it's adjacent to them. Uh, Oh, that's right. All right, I'm gonna move there and spending, hence spending four. I'm gonna just sure ch chuck it there. <clears throat> sure. And then that's one action. My second action is to build a commercial on the um, oh, uh, what is it called? G dirt? No, not dirt. Gravel. Gravel. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Yep, I move yours. <laughs> I just look at the lady, and it's like automatically <laughs> pick the lady. Sorry. All right. <laughs> Um, where is it? Okay, I'll move commercial there. Uh, I'll build a commercial here. And yep. with the cost of two, two, two. that's right, uh, is a cheaper shop here. Uh, let me just pay two. I didn't even like put it in properly. There you go. Um, and then my income goes by three. Yeah. Uh, where am I? Uh, I'll let you move it. I'll move it. Thank you. All right. All right. Put it there back. Uh, that's two actions. Yeah. Now, I could have upgraded my um, thing with $2, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. which I will because it gets me that lovely card and it's, it's only $2 and give me $2 income. It's actually not too bad. So yeah. I immediately take this off and then upgrade it to a shop right here. Yep. Uh, another $2. Sorry, where is it? Yeah. One, two, oops. And then another $2 uh, income. Yep, I gotcha. Thank you. And then I and now get you to, get to pick a card. Yeah, which is this one. So I can either take when playing a movement card, adjusted movement value plus one or minus one. That's actually pretty handy. Um, or it is, blind. <clears throat> I'm going to take. But keep in mind that hmm? that's a that's a one-time use card. So yes. keep that in mind. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Of course. Otherwise, it'll be too powerful. I, I guess. Right. Uh, all right. That's it. That's my three actions. Then, I think it's the next go one. back. Let's see what yeah. I would have got otherwise. During a move action, you may ignore one-way errors. Okay. Mm. Right, I'm happy with my my thing. All right. So then it is my go. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to play one of my activity cards, and it says, yep. "Move to the intersection of Columbia and Madison." Oh. So let's see here. Mm -hmm. It's right here. There's no bird there, which is the yep. disappointing part, but. See? Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see what the chat says. Oh, you go first. You go first. So what are you going to do? Uh, I need to get... And then I'm just going to... Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my four action. One, two, three, four. And then for my final action, I'm going to build this uh, shop right here. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be in the dirt zone. Which means I pay four dollars. This is going to go up to five. And one, two, three, four. All right. Mm -hmm. That is the end of my go. All right. So, so you want to check the, ch the chat, or you want to move on to the event card? Um, I'm just curious. You have so you got the same amount of. Um, Income because you build it in the better zone than me. Ha. Ah. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boo. So. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's okay. All right. Uh, I'll check the good. chat. 
Uh, thin the variety of objective cards and strategy options might make this game uh, this game shine. That's true. Different ways to play, and each play can be a bit different based on objective cards and the way the events come. But that's also true. That is correct. Um, <laughs> Tim knows the stuff. Yeah. Uh, good question here from Corolu. Any plans to put this on board game arena? Uh, I I don't currently. Um, I'm actually not sure how that works. Like. Does Board Game Arena approach you, or do you try to put it on Board Game Arena? I think you try to approach them. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've, um, got, I've got contact if you need, Keith. <laughs> it, sure. I do have some... I have talked to them a few times. Of course, of course. Yeah. Um, they were uh, pushing... They wanted to have cartographers on Board Game Arena, I think. And, okay. Uh, I, <clears throat> I basically... There's a... The digital version, both the... Uh, the iOS and the Android version and the web version had been signed with other groups. So yeah. I basically told them I couldn't do that, but uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I don't have anything in place for K uh, May yet. So it is an option yeah. for sure. Yeah. Like you never know. You can always ask and then just ask who decides to put it there and that sort yeah. of thing. And they probably have different sort of rules or something. Now that it's Asmodee on. So. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure how it works. I, I'd have to look into it a little bit more, but uh, it's an option. Mm -hmm. I don't have current plans for it, but yeah. uh, maybe I will. There you go. Uh, and hello, Ma um... Micah is here. Hello. You got this. <laughs> <laughs> any other... Oh, there you go. Are there any food buildings, bakeries, restaurants for Stella to build? Lol. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to build bakery and any food stuff, but I don't think it is not. I can pretend that it is a... Yeah, just, they can be with any kind of shop anything. or business you want it to yeah. be. Exactly, because so I, maybe this one right here is a, a donut shop or something that you just built. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> donut shop. I love that. I love donut shop. Okay, let's pretend that's my new donut shop. It's there. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, yeah. Because in my um, that's another thing as well. It's somehow we it usually end up talking about food. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's your turn. Yeah, I just I move the round marker and I'm flipping yeah. over the event card for the next one. Oh, what is it? And this one. Migratory bird treaty act established. Each player draws a bird token. If it's the spring or the fall, which it is, mm -hmm. they instead draw two bird tokens and keep one of their choice. Okay, let's do that. So then. you basically get to draw two birds and mm -hmm. put one back. And what if I told you I drew two of the same thing? So yeah, that's fine with me. <laughs> yeah, the birds. Are... Ooh, that's uh, pretty. I mean, I yeah, the artwork. Yeah. Uh, all the artwork from this game is from Michael Menzel, who's like a well-known uh, artist. Uh, he's done things like Stone Age, or uh, oh. you know, his. Yeah, uh, yeah. He designed and did all the illustrations for Legend of Andor as well. But oh, he did. Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. and that's amazing. Legend of Andor. That's uh, that's out a few years ago, and they had the family version, I think. Recently. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, the family version just came out. Um, yeah. I want to try it. I saw it at my game store. I haven't tried it yet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we meet here on one day. One day. All I right. Try it. Uh, one day. Team Stella can decide what her business. She can build a donut shop. Donut King on every corner. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is my go yeah. again. One, every, once, every once in a while, Tim will randomly bring me a donut whenever I see him. So Yeah, that's really? That's what happened. <laughs> So I will uh, play this three card as my first Well, wait a second, wait a second. What? I get to go first this time. Oh, I forgot. Never mind. Yeah, I th <laughs> <laughs> forgot. Okay, you go. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade uh, mm. this shop to... Yeah. Do I want to do that? I don't know. Let me read what this says. Yeah, so I'm going to play this activity card. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, upgrade a shop adjacent to your current space to a business for $2 less. Oh, so, so usually it would cost me four dollars, but now it's just going to cost me two. Mm -hmm. um, here's the two dollars, one, two, and then this beautiful plastic miniature mm -hmm. on the board, <laughs> yeah. and, then, <laughs> and then I get I get a, a bonus card, right? Or, well, first of all, my my income goes up. I'm in the brown zone. How much you get? So. I get plus two. Okay. Thank you much. Okay. And then I get to take either this card that says return one bird token to the bag and draw one bird token. And that's a that's a once per turn action. Which one? Um, oh yeah, that one. Yeah. The 
Yeah, the little symbol with the one X and the, yeah. the round around it. With the, the arrows mean per turn. Yeah. I'm actually going to take the one off the top of the deck because I don't oh, like that card as much. Oh, okay. Dun, dun, dun. Risk taker. Hello. I don't know. What... <laughs> <laughs> Hello, M20 Games, a.k.a. Uh, Yay. Th that's three points for me at the end of the game. So that's that was a good call. Awesome. Uh, and then let's uh, Coralu say we all know she'll have some sushi place and maybe durian market. Lol. <laughs> That is actually true. I was thinking about some sort of food. Donut I'll eat as well. Uh, or maybe donut mochi or something like that. Or noodle mm. place. Could be anything I want. Um, right. That, that, is, uh, that is your go. Oh, no. Hang on. Not yet. No, I, that, that's one action. And then yeah. I think for my... Uh, while I'm here, I might as well build some this uh, residential piece. Mm -hmm. And I'll upgrade it right away. So I'll pay three plus five of eight. Mm -hmm. And... Um, so I'm going to pay eight and that's going to increase my income by three. Yeah. So and... here's the three. Oh, thanks. Um, and here's the five, eight dollars. And everyone also let us know if you have any questions, maybe for Keith or even Tim, who's hanging around in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh... Now, here we go. Tim say, I'm going to stop bringing donuts to Ton of Work Games HQ and bring Keith a durian instead. No! <laughs> that... Yeah, probably not. You're going to get kicked out. <laughs> durian is not for everyone. Um, even Taryn. Like, I love it. Taryn, Taryn oh, doesn't like you've... it. I've never tried it. I'd like, I mean, I'm cu you curious. My sense of smell. Nah. I'm curious. And my sense of smell is not that great. So like. Oh, I that's feel good. like I might be able to handle it. Yeah, probably <laughs> in that case, because it doesn't taste, well, it doesn't smell that good, but I associated the smell with the taste, so it's good. It's very strong, and it is one of those that you kind of have to be growing up with it to like it. It's like Vegemite, um, <laughs> which I still, I still don't think it's good, but people say that you don't eat Vegemite on its own. Parents say that, all right. Uh, but you have to have it with butter or something else. Um, otherwise, it's just salt, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had Vegemite, and I think, I think I'm okay never having it. I yeah, don't know. yeah, that's okay. I, I'm not, it's nothing. Wow. But if you come to Australia, then you're gonna have to do it. Is that is that a thing in Australia? Yeah, of course. Like a bite okay. of Vegemite. Well. Although once I had Vegemite flavored Cadbury and it was amazing because it tastes a bit like salt and caramel, oh, salty caramel, caramel basically. Mm. Um, yeah, sorry, I get distracted again. Uh, I have many good things about this game, been wanting to see it play. All right, so hopefully we can show it play and then I'll stop talking about donuts and stuff. All right. <laughs> uh, now, is it my turn yet? It is your turn, yeah. All yeah. right, all right, all right. So I'll go one. And then we can talk about durian flavored donuts. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, <laughs> There's actually a durian shop here nearby that sells that. Oh, is there? Yeah, so I'd love to, I'd love to actually um, buy it again. Or although I'll try to buy it and then eat it straight away before Taryn gets home, so he doesn't have to actually smell it. It's like so strong. <laughs> <laughs> and twenty games. And twenty games. Uh, Vision might remains off my bucket list. That's actually yeah, uh, it's a good idea. Yeah. All right, I moved three here. And I stop here and I want to try to build another shop. I'm going to start to build my income uh, at this stage. So I'm going uh, to, let's see, how much is that in the grass area is $3. Um, where is my thing? Yeah. So build it there. Pay $3. Mm -hmm. Now one, two... And that increased my income by four. Actually, I've I've printed this reference, so I'm gonna put it here below my screen, so it's easy for me to look. Okay. Oh, you got it. Uh, no, I, I was just threatening to. Okay, so that's nine. Yeah. Let's see if it's worth to actually upgrade this anyway. Three dollars and get two. It's not that great of return, to be honest. So I'm going to. Well, hmm? It depends on what, how much you think that card is worth, but the the upgrade card that you get, right? Uh yeah, 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 yeah. I've got an upgrade card. Um, not... oh, sorry. 
Oh, I just saw something quite good. All right, I'm going to actually use this one as my last action sure. to build a business in any way I want on the board. So, no, you have to. You always have to build a shop and then a business. So oh, sorry, yeah. Build, so you got to do the token, right? Yes, token. Sorry, I got the yeah. one. So it will be any way I want, right? Yep, yep. So that is there. That's five dollars. Yep, five bucks. Oh, expensive! Uh, right in the beach front, everybody. So hopefully, people right. come to my thing. I increase your income by six. Mm -hmm. So I think you're good there. All right, and that gets discarded. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and I believe that's my three actions. Right. So you moved. You built a commercial property, and then you yep. built another one with the car. Yeah. Gotcha. So that's the end of the round. We move to round three. Mm -hmm. You get the star player token, mm -hmm. and we flip this um... event card. Yeah, this event card. Thanks. There you there go. go. What does it say? Each ballet collects one dollars for each college they own. Boo! Oh, you get. Uh, uh -huh. No, nobody has any. Oh, hang on, that's not a college. That's Victoria. That's right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, we miss out. That's all right. It's a dollar. Yeah. It's a buck. Yeah. Uh, Hey, DJ Murphy, welcome. Um, nice you can join me in the chat. I've seen you commenting in some of our videos previously, so welcome. Again, actually, you've been in our chats before. Uh, so uh, DJ Murphy said, David Allen Sibley, author and illustrator of the best North American birds looks, uh, books, lives in Cape May, I believe. Very famous birding area. Okay, yeah. there you go. Good fact. Um, all right. And um, so after, at the end of this round, it will be income around. you have income after this so uh, and you get to go first yeah um, 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 um. all right i will build how much do i have here i have only one two i've got eight dollars eight measly bucks <laughs> uh I can build a cottage here for two dollars. Actually, I'm gonna do that. Okay, and you can always uh, use an action to get three dollars. So keep I that know. in mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's thanks for. I mean, me. it's it's something you kind of want to avoid, but yeah, it is possible. It is possible. Yeah. So one, two, three. I believe to yeah. build a cottage in grassy area. Yeah. Well, yeah, it should be two dollars, right? Two dollars. Yep. And then that's one income for me only. Yeah. Yeah. And I can use, how much is it to upgrade? Upgrade is, oh, four dollars, man. <laughs> well, it's three dollars now. So, well, yeah, one, use that activity one, card. <laughs> yeah, one, two, three. And I will put that into uh, this love, not this one. This one, this lovely yeah. Victorian house, which we still have a lot in Melbourne, actually, and a lot of them are oh, okay. heritage listed. Oh, I don't know if this is the same Victorian. It's a different type of Victorian, I think. Mm. Uh, so, uh, and that's increased my income by f one. One. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. All right. Yeah. Is that? So did you move? Did you move the green one, or did you move the blue one? Blue. Okay. Oh, hang on. Yeah, blue one. So what? What did I do? So I did. This is why I should probably track it on my player board, but I didn't. So first one is to build. Second one is to upgrade. So I do have a one more, one more turn to do this. Okay. Yep. Uh, one, two. So one, two, three. Okay. I'll do five. So one, two, three, four, five. Hello. Uh, which I will <laughs> take a bit. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Bird token. Done. Yeah. Mm, your turn. All right. Mm -hmm. So. So what a toffee. Oh my God. I love it. Sorry. Keep going. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> mentioned it. Like, I love it. Yeah. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. I'm tempted to. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, mm. Doesn't I don't have an eight. Well, I gotta move. I gotta get out of this town. <laughs> so uh, move away from me. No, it doesn't matter. I know. <laughs> I guess I'll play. Like one, two, three. Four. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna pay a dollar so I can play my six. And then I will move six spaces. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. And I will. I guess I'm going to get myself a brown, uh, a dirt shop, which is going to cost me $4. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have $1 a left. Dirt shop. <laughs> dirt shop. <laughs> Selling dirt. It's a building shop. Uh, yeah. And then. Uh, that that shop in the dirt zone is going to increase my income by five. So that's going to take me to twenty-two, and then I have one action left and one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. I'm not that much to reach here. I've got two dollars. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm going to play my five and, and just prep up for next round. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. All right, that's the end of my go. Yep, yep. Uh, team said, oh, there you go. Uh, love it as a kid. Uh, can't do it now. Always afraid I'm going to lose a tooth. Yeah, I had that feeling as well because it's quite sticky. Um, and I do have um, some of my teeth are fake. And I don't care. Like, I, I tell everyone that, like, because I had some teeth issue like I think like like a lot of people has got fake teeth anyway so I just always worry that that's gonna happen but I still have it like carefully <laughs> <laughs> try not to make it stick everywhere in my mouth but I love it and then I found a shop uh, somewhere in Australia that have it so I just got out to get it sometimes but I love it the first time I got it from when I visit San Francisco I think that's the oh place. yeah yeah, yeah. So, are you, I used to live in the San Francisco Bay Area is it, yeah. it it's really nice but it's expensive i i, be, I believe oh yeah yeah, okay. that, yeah that's one of the reasons why i don't live there anymore <laughs> <laughs> that, where about are you now again i think um i'm in madison wisconsin so tim right, and i right, live right. yeah you know really close to each other yeah there you go uh and coralu say is the dirt shop next to the bait shop to provide homes for the worms <laughs> uh, maybe dirt shop uh, there you go, Tim say, thanks for clarifying that, Tim. Uh, the Victorian homes in Melbourne in Cape May and the rest of the US are actually similar design. The ones in Cape May are also protected buildings. Well, my home there right now, it has got a little bit of Victorian design um, at the um, at the balcony. Oh, not balcony, um, the front, what do you call it? Uh, the front yard? The porch. The porch, thank oh, you, okay. the porch. Uh, so there you go. Uh, I don't know if it's heritage listed, but I don't think so. But it's, yeah, it's quite beautiful. Um, all right, now what's going on here? So now? I, I gave you your income. Yep. And I dealt you two activity cards. Yep. So we move to summer, mm -hmm. and we flip a event card. Yep. And then we're gonna be uh, away. We go. Where's my income? Uh, the player with the most cottages in the gravel zone collects a dollar per cottage in the zone. The player with the most cottages in the grass zone also collect a dollar. So, um, who's got cottages? No, not me. Nobody's got cottages. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> this cottage association, it may have formed, but we did not join. <laughs> no, so unfortunately. No. <laughs> uh, where's my income? Where did you put my income, by the way? I put it on your, your board right here. You've got 10 bucks. Oh, in here. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Oh, is that all? I thought I would have gotten more. How much you get? Same. Well, we can... We can uh, we can check it real quick if you have how come i'm right here have... no what is that am i 22 no i'm 22. <laughs> we can check oh, yours yeah. real oh quick. my gosh um i keep like forgetting you know what because yeah i don't usually so you... i don't usually play blue oh yeah so if you look at your board you can see you, you have one victorian and one business yeah so that means uh the victorian is in the gravel zone um so you would have gotten one income for that mm -hmm. no sorry uh a total of five income for that and yep. then the uh, victorian in green 
would have given you uh, six. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Would have given you two. Am I, I'm losing my mind. Uh, I've got, so I've got here. Five. Here, oh yeah, I forgot here, that one. Yeah. In here, I think I forgot to do it one at one point. But well, we could check it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, on the commercial side, mm -hmm. uh, and in the sand, you would have gotten an increase of six. Yeah. So that's six, plus um, the commercial in the gravel would have given you five. So that would have been eleven. Yeah. Plus whatever the Victorian is in green. Victorian eleven in green is two. A total of two. Yeah. yeah. It should have been a 13, I believe. Yeah, and then this one? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Yeah. See, this is my fault. Sorry, everybody. That one should have been a, a four, another four. Okay. So so it should be at uh, 16, I believe. Okay. I might have moved it by accident as well. Oh, uh, yeah. So it might be worth checking. <laughs> um, so I, get, I give you 10 bucks, so you should take another six. Thank you. Um, and then I have... Just I got three buildings, right? So I've got a a shop in brown, so that would give me five, mm -hmm. and then a Victorian in brown would give me another three, so that would be an eight, plus a business in green, which would give me another six. So that should eight plus six. I sh I have. Uh, that should be a 15, I guess. Yeah. See, I'll move you. So I got to get... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'll put, 10 bu or put $5 back. I think and I might have... That makes, yep. that makes more yeah. sense. Yeah. I think I miscalculated mine still. So, sorry. Okay. So this one here is in the dirt. It's a, it's that's, a business. That's, that's $5. That's gravel. A oh, gravel. Sorry. And that, yeah, but it is $5. It is $5. Yeah. yeah $5. And yep. this actually is a Victoria in the grass, and that's give me two dollars. That's seven. And this one here yep. is a, a shop in the grass, which gives me four. That's eleven. Yep. And this one here is six. Right. So that would be seventeen. Yeah. So there's one more dollar. We'll take your, Whew, yeah, take we, get dollar. That, we get the final aid. This is my fault for like <laughs> getting distracted and that sort of thing. All right, uh, all right. We get that. I mean, the, the thing that's nice is that you can't always back it up and like figure yeah. out what's what wrong. Yeah, yeah, that's um, true. I printed this as well here. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. It is nice yeah. to have the actual component in front of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Well, obviously, for physical version of the game, you all have it right in front of you. Right. It's easier. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. All right, so away we go. We're, we're at the beginning of summer. Mm -hmm. I grabbed the star player token from yeah. you, so I think I'm I'm off to the races. Mm -hmm. You got your two um, uh, new activity cards, so don't forget to take a look at those. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, 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 good. good. Um, and, and well, I did set myself up over here, so I'm going to go take advantage of that mm -hmm. and build myself. I got to decide what I want to do. Uh, I'll go ahead and build a commercial and a residential in the what in the sand zone. That's going to cost me nine bucks, and my income will increase by nine as well. Mm -hmm. So this goes here, this goes here, and this goes fifteen to twenty-four. <gasps> and I. <laughs> That's okay. And then I'm. Yep. I'm going to upgrade the the residential to, oh, wait, I kind of want those four points. I'm going to do it. Um, upgrade the business, or so the shop to a business, so that should cost me five bucks. Mm -hmm. I, oh, I'm wondering, if, now I'm wondering if I paid the $9 or not. Mm. I don't think I did. All right. Okay, yeah, no. Uh, and so then... This... I guess for that last action, I'm going to upgrade the shop to a business for five dollars. Oh, that, that um, house, that house give you three dollars income, isn't it? This one, this house. Uh, what else did you build yeah. this this round? I, I built so I built business. the the two the That's the right. house and the and the thing and the smaller yeah. shop though. 
for a total of nine income. And then now I'm just upgrading the shop a second time to increase my income by two more. And then I get to take this upgrade card for four points. Cool. And then it's your turn. Yeah. So Michael here in the chat from Facebook. Hey, Michael. Joe, welcome. Uh, Michael says, I'm interested. Love Cartographers. Hope this game is great too. So Michael is, um, I met Michael for uh, for our board game meetup that I've organized a few times already. Um, we, we're currently on lock, lockdown, so that's not going to happen next week. But we've been right, doing I... um, Fortnite meetup and Michael is from uh, an Australian podcast called Board Game Barbecue. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was just talking to uh, a few Australians yesterday and they were talking about the upcoming lockdown that uh, they weren't super excited about. But yeah, everyone's excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> Not just Australia, the world excited right. about that. Uh, all right. I keep forgetting what I need to achieve at the end of the game. Uh, this is pretty hard. All right. All right, all right, all right. You haven't picked up your cards yet, have you? I haven't either. I have not, no. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe I can do that. Oh, we've got new subscriber, Christian Holmes. Welcome to the channel. Thank you very much. All right. I'm counting my I'm trying to be really efficient, but I don't know. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six. All right. I will go in. Oh, maybe not. Oh, this is my own. That's okay. I was like, what's this going in here? Oh, no, that's my own. Not Kip. One, two, three. Oh, no, this is one way. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's do this. Uh, I'll move six. I move, uh, pay one dollars. Yep. And then I move one, two, three, four, five, six. I get three of these. Uh, yeah, you draw three and then you discard two. Let's see, draw three. Sorry, draw three, discard one. One. So you yeah, get to yeah, keep yeah. two. Excellent. Good. All right, let's just discard this one. And then I will play here this card as my second action to build or upgrade twice uh, any buildings diagonally adjacent to my current space. Yeah. Uh, you, so, you still have to pay for those that, yeah, uh, yeah, upgrades yeah. in the buildings, but yeah, yeah, that's okay. Uh, pretty sure I can afford it. So that would be just the house housing. So I'm gonna get this. This business space is also available. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That is that's under the sand. It's under the same as the sand, isn't it? Yep. That is pretty good, actually. Five dollars get me six income. And the house, the house is actually, what's the matter kids? You don't want me to build here? You want to have control here then? <laughs> <laughs> Busted. You do, you do what's best for you. I, know, I, I, I know. want you to do, I want you to do well. <laughs> I know, I know. All right. If I go there, oh, okay. Okay. I will do this business first. Um, that cost me what five dollars yep and that increased my income by six dollars so let me just yep now do the blue one please do this you. one <laughs> <laughs> one two three one two three thank you so much for reminding me yeah uh, and the one more i can build a house which i will build i have to build mm. a house so i'm going to build a house Uh, okay, I'll be nice. Sure. I'll build it here. I'll build it here. <laughs> <laughs> so that costs you four. Um, four dollars and with three income. Okay. So that's five. Return one. And, and I'm blue. Did you move mine? No. 
I did not. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. There you go. Um, so one is book moves. Second is to do that. And I have, you have one more action. One more left, action. Um, let me see if I've got anything. Oh, I can, I can still build here. Oh, no, I can't. It's diagonal. Never mind. Uh, adjacent. Diagonally adjacent. Okay. Um, one, two, where am I going? I think I'm going to probably pick up my cards. It's probably not wise, but I'll, I'll just do it. Okay. And it's eventually pick up my cards, so I'm going to do it now. And there's my three. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so that is the end of the round. Uh, I've got a question. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, first, Michael says so we we can't play next week. It's a great meetup, and I can't wait for the next one. Thank you so much. And mm. I'm hopefully your meetup, uh, the big meetup on the weekend, is also going ahead in Melbourne, uh, Michael. And uh, twenty games I'll be watching Australia Open in Melbourne, from Melbourne, Florida. So I think on Monday, nice one. Uh, okay, here we go. The question: Are you? As you move your token around the board, does that determine or restrict where you can build? Yes, it does. So you can yes, only build um, orthogonally adjacent to your token. So I can right. only build this one here um, diagonally, not orthogonally, because I have a special cut that let me doesn't. Otherwise, like Keith Hees can only build um, orthogonally adjacent to where he. But is. you can see on on the board these little on the spaces these little white dots indicate mm -hmm. like what spaces can build at that location mm -hmm. yeah so yes. that's yes 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 correct um we also Ooh. have mom gamer hello welcome i haven't seen you for a while i haven't talked to you for a while well we have recently but not on the live playthroughs welcome mom gamer um and we've got the curious box amazing guests yes that's here so if you see it like that's keith here <laughs> yeah it's too kind too um, kind Love the art box. Um, love the box art on this one. This, absolutely, that's yeah. I agree. All right, um, all right. Let's let's continue, and then I'll go back to the chat soon. All right. So I move the marker. We're gonna flip this card, oh, and it oh, says, oh. "We are if in spring. Um, we end in summer. Yeah. Yeah. We're oh. in summer, so we get five, five dollars. Yay! I'm, Good card. I need it. I love this one. I need it. <laughs> You don't have any. Oh, you got four. I know. I, I think I, I'm not sure if like I accidentally yeah. paid for a house twice or not. Um, oh, no. But it's fine. I'll, now, yeah. I mean, now that I have more money, and it's fine. Yeah. Um, so I really want to upgrade that um, cottage to a Victorian mm -hmm. in the sand zone. It's going to cost me $5, but I have this card, mm -hmm. which is going to let me do it for mm. $2 less. Well, so I only have so to pay good. three, two, three, to upgrade this crazy location to uh, this. That is going to increase my uh. What we're in the white. We're in the sand zone, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, increase my income by one, which isn't great, but that's okay. 26 to 27. And then action two, that's six bucks. I think, I think we, uh, you were supposed to go first, but I, I, it, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll just, <laughs> yeah, I don't right. want to back it up if that's yeah, okay yeah, with yeah. you. No, no, that's okay. That's fine. All right. Um, do I have $8? No, I've got six. So my, Second action, I'm going to take $3. Mm -hmm. And then just to show that that is an option. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to play this activity card for my last one that says upgrade uh, any cottage to a Victorian or Victorian to a landmark for, mm -hmm. for minus $2. So I'm going to pay $8. There's one, two, three, plus five. And that is going to make this house very fancy. Mm. Um, mm -mm. So, so. <laughs> let's see if we can. So look at that fence. So that's oh. the end of my go. Uh, so if I have, uh, <clears throat> let me clarify this. So if I have an upgrade minus card, can I do it in any way in the board? I don't have to be next to it. 
right? Um, well, are you talking about your when playing a movement card one? Is that what you're asking like about? Like this one, like your the card on top of here. Do you have to be next to it as well, or talking? No, it says it says any. So oh, any. Okay. Uh, if it says any, that yep. means any. That means anyone on the board. That sounds good. Which means that's what I'm gonna do next. Uh, I'll use this one. Okay. So uh, yeah. first first action, I'm gonna. It doesn't matter. We do pretend that we'll. Well, I'll pretend that I'll. I'll be the first player. And okay. because your action is doesn't really, you know, impact what impact. you did. Yeah. yeah. What I'm about to do anyway. Any cottage to a Victoria or a Victorian to landmark. So this cottage I'm going to upgrade. Um, that mm -hmm. is on the sand. So the cost to upgrade is it's expensive, but it's six dollars. Right. So now you just pay four. Yeah. Because of that. So one, two. Three, four, and now it got upgraded to Victoria. And yep. unfortunately, it's pretty, you know, it's not that profi uh, profitable, apparently. It's only giving me an extra $1 income. All right, but now at the end of the game, if the game were to end right now, that, that house, that Victoria is worth four points. Yep. If you're able to upgrade it before the end of the game to a landmark, it's worth 11 points, which is a lot. Oh, you're right. You're right. Oh. That's juicy. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's that. That card is done. Yeah. Uh, that's my first action, and then the second so. one is I'm gonna move somewhere. So I'm gonna move one, two, three, four. I'm gonna move four. Oh, actually, no, I can't move there because I forgot this error. Oh yeah, I can move there. That's okay. Yeah, you can go here. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Love it. Uh, and one more action is to build a commercial on the the dirt. I got a dirt shop. Yeah. And this shop <laughs> will be, uh, it'll be a sushi shop because you know I feel like sushi. So let's. Oh uh, man, I would love some sushi right now. Oh, do you as well? Oh, do you do you eat the the raw one as well though? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, brave. Even Tara doesn't do that. <laughs> like, I love the raw fish. I mean, cured, raw, whatever. Uh, how much do I owe? Yeah. On the brown shop is $4. Yeah, let's see. I can afford that. Give $1 back. And that gives me an extra income of 5 And blue. Yeah. Oh, no. Where were we? 27. It's, One, it's two, five. three, four, five. Okay, there you go. Okay, I think that that's my three turns. I upgrade something here, yeah, and then I move, and then I upgrade. Uh, I I build. Okay, and that's so that's the, the end of the thing. That's that. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, I'm. I guess I've got to take the star play, the star player token. Yeah, yeah. Oops. Oh. What oh. just happened? Uh, I'm having an issue, happened? Mum Gamer. Uh, we'll catch you soon. Happy gaming and have a good one. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully, it's good for everyone else. Let us know if there's any connection issue. I think it's good from my end, by the looks of it. I seem to be fine. There you go. There so, you go. The, oh, you go. the event token for this round is the, the howls of the Emlyn Physic Ghost Frightens the Birds. So, when you land on a bird space, you don't get birds this round. <gasps> so, there's... The, at the top of this board, this building right here is this mm -hmm. kind of famous building, which is called the Emlyn Physic Estate. It's this yep. kind of mogul from the area. And some people say he still haunts the mansion. So mm. uh, he, he made it into the game in this card. So. <laughs> Woohoo! Uh -huh. So, okay, confirm connection is solid uh, over there. Okay, good, good. Thank you for letting oh, me know. Fantastic. And yeah. Tim say we're actually working with some local gift shops in Cape May to have the game for sale when it hits retail. Wow, that's awesome. That would be like yeah. a souvenir, a souvenir game as well. That's awesome. Yeah. Love it, love, um, it, love it. Cool. So I guess I'm going first. The Haunted Mansion Hall. <laughs> yes, you go first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have to think about what I'm going to do here. Yes. 
Well, okay. I have any good cards in my hand, like yeah. <laughs> there's, there's stuff that I want to do, but um, mm -hmm. let's see here. Um. Why am I blue? Am I, am I on a one-way? I am on a one-way street. All right. One, two, three. I'm going to take $3 as my first action, and then I'm going to play my seven card, which costs two, um, as my second action. And then... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that smart? Um, I think so. Maybe. <laughs> I don't. I don't actually. I don't think it's smart, but I don't have. I don't have anything else that I want to do. So, uh, for my third action, I'm just going to take three bucks and I will pass it to you, Stella. Okay, so I will build a commercial right here next to me. Yeah, um, that's in the that's in the. It cost you four dollars, I think. That in the dirt is it is indeed four dollars. Give me five incomes. All right, so four dollars it is, and five income it is. Yep. Uh, Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. Yay. So what happened? Can you go over 49? Is it allowed or not really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's my first action. And then my second mm -hmm. action is I'd like to move. Let's move here. So one, two, three. Yeah, what do I have here? Two, three. One, two, three. Three it is. So I move three. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Actually. Wait a minute. Where was I? Uh, one, two, three. One, yeah. two, sorry. Uh, that limits me to stuff. How much money do I have anyway? Oh, two dollars. <laughs> How much do you have? Are you you got some monies before money before? Yeah, I took some money actions because I was running low. The question is, what I can afford with two dollars? I can build a house here. Right, but keep in mind we're about to get paid at the end of your turn. So yes, yes, yes. That's that's actually good. We can <laughs> shop. Yeah, let's let's just do that and then build the shop for like literally two dollars. Oh no, three dollars. It's three dollars. You're one buck short. Ah, if I move further, one, two, yeah. three, four. If you have a four. I you can build it right here. Yeah, I have a five, not a four. Ah, so this is this is where the um the puzzle comes comes from um comes through that you have the kind of like thing ahead. Town will be so good at this one. <laughs> ah, jeez, one, two, three, four. No, one, two, three, four, five. That's not good. One, two, three, four, five. It's only commercial, but yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's only thing I can I can do. So, so five. You... Yeah, two dollars. Yep. And at least I get my income. At oops, sorry. No, you didn't see that. It goes up to three. Yeah. Two dollars there, and then uh, build. I'll move it for you. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Okay, that's it. All right, that's the end of the round. Um, so we get our money. That's the important part. Mm -hmm. No, so there's subscribers. Take, take your... Thank you, Tom. Hey. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, I've got forty. I I'll get my own. That's okay. Forty. Yeah. How much you get? I get uh, twenty-seven. Okay. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. All right. And then uh, everybody gets. I'll deal you uh, some some cards. Oh, thanks. Um, and then. We move up, move on into fall. So now we're on the back half of the game. Yep. 
you're only going to get income one more time in the game at the oh, end of fall. And shoot. Then, yeah. So keep that in mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the event card says you pay full price for all build and upgrade actions this round. Activity cards may still be played, but discounts do not apply. <gasps> So that, that's that's in the negative card category. Yeah. But the good news is that uh, bird spaces work again. So yeah, yeah, good. Alrighty, uh, I believe you are going first this time, right? Indeed, indeed. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, that's that's pretty crap face. One place. Sorry, I can only move that way. Oh no. <laughs> Two, three, <laughs> four, five. You can't do anything from that space. Oh, you get a bird. Yeah. So I got one, two, three. That lets me build. Is that? Oh, no, that's a printed, pre printed thing. Yeah, that's art on the board. Mm, okay, fine. <laughs> I feel like it's. I need to go somewhere where I can build left and right. It seems to be more. Um, more efficient, right? Yeah, One, sure. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> <laughs> Where can I go? One, two, three, four. Well, you could use your one and, and, and build on both sides of the street or your two. But you have to pay money to use them. Hmm. <laughs> I know. I was like, I don't want to, but okay, okay, fine. I'll I'll do that. One is. Oh wait. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. Fine. I got too many. This is why yeah. it's so uh, expensive. One, two, three. Uh, that's my first action. My second action is just to build yeah. houses to this one. That cost me a one dollar, I believe. Uh, yeah, yep. the the cottage cost you one zero increase on your thing. Yep, and the second one, as this, the last one, is to upgrade with three dollars mm. uh, to change yep. to a Victorian. Mm -hmm. Thank you, and mm -hmm. increase the income. By one. By one. Gotcha. Got it. Thank you. Done. All right. Nice work. Uh, oh, Liv is here. Hey, Liv. Liv is our friend who's also who also live uh, near near me. It's about like five minutes drive, not even. Oh, okay. Just moved into the area. Hi, Liv. Welcome. Are you? Uh, do you have any <laughs> questions? I've got Keith here. If you want to ask questions about the game and other random stuff like donuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm running out of cards here. So I'm going to play my three and then move three spaces here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to build this uh, cottage and then upgrade it in the gravel zone. So that'll cost me $4. Which I have finally. Mm -hmm. And I believe that will increase my income by one. <laughs> games look good yes indeed Liv. if you want um, you know um i think I'll, i will get i will have this game one day so you probably can come come by my place when there's no lockdown um to play with yeah <laughs> so that's the end of the round right uh yeah that's it yes so advance we go mm -hmm. new event card Ooh. each player pays two dollars for each landmark they own what but no one has landmark. Uh, oh, well, you have. I it. have a landmark. Two dollars. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I think, is it two or three? Two. Yeah, it's two. Two. You can pay three yeah. if you want, but it says two here. <laughs> <laughs> Guess it's not. Uh, it's not winter, right? Yeah. Uh, winter but uh, yeah. Did I already give you? Did I'm trying to figure out if I'm supposed to have the start player token, or are you supposed to have it? I think I have it. I think you're right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then Coral, are there? Coral has got a question. Are there any expansions planned for this game, or is it 
a start of the series? I guess that's a, a fair question because you have all the role play universe. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Kate May, I mean, we have a little mini expansion that's coming mm -hmm. uh, that if you pre-order it directly from Thunderworks or it'll be available for purchase uh, on the Board Game Geek store or on the Thunderworks store by itself after the game's release. And that, that just has a handful of cards. It adds one new event card which basically lets everybody take an extra action that round, which is really fun. Um, and then it's got a bunch of vocation cards. And at, in the mini expansion, every, you deal a vocation card out to each player, and it gives you like a one-time use per game special ability. Mm. Uh, it's pretty fun. So you can save it for the for just the right moment in the game and save a couple actions and, and pull ahead. So uh, those are pretty fun, and they, um, they, they'll be available with through pre-order through Thunderworks or on sale by their own after the game's out in a variety of places. Mm -hmm. But in terms of like a full expansion that is like, you know, adds a bunch of features and uh, we don't have plans for that yet, but I mean, it's kind of dependent on how well the game does. If, if it looks like there's interest in an expansion, then we'll do one, you know? Um, but uh, it's kind of like, it's just kind of one of those things. Uh, I usually don't really plan for an expansion when I'm making the main game um, because I don't know if it's worth investing my time into, to be honest. Like, if the game doesn't do that that well or people don't love it, then there's there's no there's no need for an expansion, right? Mm. So um, that's that's fair. That's fair. Uh, it's kind of like trying to fulfill this one first, and then we'll we'll see how it goes as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah. It's, uh, Tim also say that. All right. So so far in my turn, I've built a um, a cottage and upgraded to Victorian for a total okay. of four dollars yeah. and one extra income so far <clears throat> as my two actions. And then my third action, I would like to uh, build. What? Where am I? Is this mine? This is mine, isn't it? That is yours, yeah. Yeah, one, two, let me just like see. One, two. This is mine as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not feel, feeling so confident about winning this game at this point. Four, five, six, I, I think uh, Ella's school schooling me. No, I think you're just being nice about it because <laughs> we, we had this conversation two days ago, right? Where All right. we probably let the person maybe wins, possibly. Or no. Is that, yeah. I would never do that. <laughs> ah, really? <laughs> okay. I, yeah, I know other people do that, but like, um, usually if I do really poorly at a game that I publish, it's because I'm too busy focused on mm -hmm. making sure the other person's having fun and that, that mm -hmm. they understand the rules and like my my turn isn't that important it's more about like making sure they understand how it plays yeah and then uh and i usually end up losing when i do that too much so okay. you know there, there's there's times when i play a role player and people beat me and they're excited about that and, yeah which yeah. is fine yeah yeah <laughs> but i probably wasn't being as competitive as i could have been but yeah 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 fair enough fair enough um <laughs> So uh, that is a, a very fair question, so a very fair answer. So just in case, just in the really, you know, maybe I'll win somehow, then I'll wear, I'll win fair and square. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, hang on. Yeah, that's seven, isn't it? One, two, three, four, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I forgot that there's this little one that's counted as one. Yeah. So, are you going backwards? Where do you? No, I was. I was here. So oh, I okay. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. Oh. Keep in mind, you've got that extra card that you can plus or minus the value one, right? Oh, I forgot. Yes, thank you so much. <laughs> I totally forget about that. Ah, oh, where is yeah. that card anyway? It's in the. It's here. It's right here. It's in my hand. It was in. It was floating in the air over there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, thanks, kids. Okay, I'll definitely use that. Thank you for mentioning that. And this, if I mm. win, uh, this is because of kids as well. So um, <laughs> that's it. That's my three, uh, three actions. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. So that's my. No, I get to go. Yay! Yay! I... <laughs> Sorry, it's long. <laughs> I will. I'll move forward one mm -hmm. for.
for $2. One, two, and that's going to get me a bird. And are you kidding me? Here's my other bird. Let me see what I got. <laughs> that's the worst. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and then uh, I'm going to play my... Oh, man. And then I'm going to take my cards back. This yeah. Is... You've got a lot of cards it had, already. It had to... yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to pay my one a second time, paying two more dollars. And I'm going to double dip into this bird bag. Uh, is that right? Bird number three, bird number four. Okay. Those are better. Those are better. Those are better. Um, and that's those are my three actions. That's the end of the round. So, go to the next one. Where is it? Oh, and then... I'm taking my... Yep. This is Thanks. moving. Yep. And then this Zag. is flipping. What do we got? All build and upgrade actions in the gravel and grassland cost one dollar less this round. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So on these cars, like, there's um, there's a little exclamation point in the middle when there's like a thing that happens, and then the things that have kind of ongoing for the round have a wheel in the middle, mm. just as a little little piece there. And this and this is ba based on the history, right? In 1960. Yeah, yeah. So there's a little that's quote awesome. on the bottom that that talks about what that is. Yeah, it's um, really good. If I you're like into, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. It's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. So. Let's, yep. does it let me, does it let me do, all right, I'm going to upgrade, no, that's a bad idea. Mm -hmm. um, one, two. While well, Keith is thinking about things, I'll let Keith thinks about this. Coralus, yeah. hashtag Team Stella, thank you, Coralu. <laughs> <laughs> Very supportive. Um, so Tim say, yes, yeah, at least shipping direct from US to the rest of the world is very expensive. Very glad you can order it locally because Coralo is thinking of ordering it from a local shop, which is, you know, the same game essentially, uh, because yeah. Coralo is in Canada. And um, Coralo say, make the t-shirt. Oh, Carl N20 game say, Coralo make the t-shirt. And then Coralo is advertising our merch shop. So we actually, we we just created a merchant Maple University merchandise shop, which oh. I haven't actually I haven't actually announced it publicly until I receive my sample and wear it and then talk about it. I mean that that makes sense, right? Uh, right. But yeah, there is one. Um, Coralu put it there. Um, there's some um, various things. There's uh, this Terrence face. Yes, there's a T-shirt that socks with Terrence face. <laughs> oh lol. Um, so there you go. So there are some, mainly it's not Maple University, it's not a big branding thing. It was basically just a nerdy, nerdy t-shirt or mug or whatever, um, anything to do with board games. Um, there's one about board games in probably like 10 different languages or something like that around the world. Um, so, hmm. uh, one of the things, so yeah, there you go. So what have you done? Um, I <laughs> moved to here after I took my turn back like two times. And then I'm going to upgrade, I'm going to build um, a cottage mm -hmm. and I get a dollar discount because of the event card, mm -hmm. uh, which usually would cost me a dollar. So it's free. Mm -hmm. What a great deal. Mm -hmm. And then um, <laughs> for my third action, I'm going to use this card that says Upgrade any Victorian to a landmark. So I'm going to upgrade this one that I have in the brown zone, or the dirt zone, I guess I should say. And that is going to cost me $10 minus two. So that costs me eight. Um, five, I, I get two back. And that's, I got to get my income. Actually, I don't get any income from either one of those builds. So, um, I think it is your turn. Okay. First, I'm going to build a house here. I, I should say a cottage. Sure. And uh, in the grassy area, which cost me $2. Mm -hmm. Which gives me an income of extra one. Actually, you only have to pay $1 because of the, the oh, event Oh, yeah. Card. Whoop, whoop. 
forgot about that thank you <laughs> okay one forty three and then the second one is to upgrade um any cottage of victorian um that is just uh it's also minus two dollars so the actual cost is was that four dollars was that four dollars uh, in the grassy area yeah in the grass four dollars yeah. usually minus two with my card and then minus one for the event so, so a you dollar. only pay a dollar oh <laughs> cheapo yeah cheapo, beautiful victorian at a bargain because of the crisis yeah. uh, that's two actions and yeah yeah one more yeah one more and the one more is oh i think i'll do that uh, 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 um, the discount is on the gravel and grass mm -hmm. so i might as well build a shop here cheaper next sure. to me next to me i know I, I should i feel like i should probably build houses but i've got one more income after this so maybe it's worth it you could you could upgrade that blue one to a landmark if you wanted to just oh yeah as a side note Landmark is a good point. So in the grass is seven. So it's two points, to seven. Two to seven. Yeah. Mm. But you do what you want to do. I'm just giving you options. I know. I know. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll do that. So I'll upgrade that. So you'll. So it'll cost you nine because of the event card. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I don't know if that's worth it. So 10 points. So 10 money gives you one point, isn't it? Yeah. So, so it is worth it. Okay. Now, this is my first landmark ever. Yeah. Uh -huh. You might say it's a landmark experience. <laughs> Thanks, Keith. <laughs> I love that's, that. that's my dad joke for the day. <laughs> I told Keith about our dad joke in our live streams. Live streams. There you go. All right. Um, All right. That is, is that my think, three? No, one? Yeah, I think you built it and yes. then you upgraded Upgrade it twice. and you upgraded the second time. Correct. And then my income, uh, there's no increase in income. Right. Landmarks don't increase your income, but they give you a bunch of points. Did I increase in Victorian? I don't know if I... You did. I did. Thank you for my... You did. Um, okay, that's it. Are we, and so now we're getting paid. This is the end of the, end of the season, end of fall. So mm -hmm. you get 40 three dollars yep. and i get 28. um we get we're gonna deal out two more activity cards <gasps> yep we are, we're now officially in winter mm -hmm. and then this is the last or the event card mm -hmm. It says players with the most buildings in the sand zone collect two dollars per building. I don't know who has the most. I think we're tied. One, one two, two. No, I have. You have four, one, two, three, four. I have only. Oh, no, this two, one's. Three. These are in the. These are in the dirt zone, right? So. Oh right, yeah. One, two. You three. have the most. You got three, and I have two. Oh yeah. Okay. Right. Woo! Um. So. You get two dollars per building in the zone. Yeah. So four. Hang on. One, two, three. So. It has to be commercial. The most buildings. No. Okay, so six dollars for me. Yep, and I get I get two. Yeah, and then if summer, no, it's not summer. Uh, oh, look, uh, Liv has got a dead joke. Uh, <laughs> I don't always tell dead jokes, but when I do, he laughs. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'll keep <laughs> mine for the secret ending torturing session for kids. Oh, no. uh, that's a good one, Liv. Coralu said you've already seen a lot of cards that reward for cottages when you didn't have any cottages. What are the chances you'll get another one if I was playing pretty high? <laughs> Lol. <laughs> uh. All right, all right. Whose turn is this now? Uh, I believe it's your turn. Do I get any points for activities card? activity cards I don't use? I forgot about that. No. No? Okay, so as well I'll play that. Yeah. Where am I? Am I blue? Blue. Yes, blue. It's time to score some points, I guess. So just as a reminder, you're never going to receive income again. Yeah. I think income is probably a tiebreaker. Right. So. Yeah, right, right. 
I've got quite a few incomes here, so um, this is time probably for me to try to achieve my goals. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. No, one, two, three, four. Actually, actually, the tiebreaker is who has collected the most bird tokens. Oh. The second tiebreaker is income. Ooh. Okay. Okay, I'll use this to move. Uh, three, four, or five. So I move one, two, three, four. And I'd like to. That's the first action. Second action is to build a cottage in the sand, which is four dollars. Yep. Uh, I'll increase your income by three. Oh right, yeah, thank you. And then the mm -hmm. second one is to build. A so to upgrade that to a Victorian with a cost of two dollars less. So that means it's four dollars and additional income of where is my my sheet? Is that right? One. Uh, so it's 47 and then the last one is to upgrade uh, Victorian to landmark with three dollars discount play a card nice oh sorry That's a good on. One. The, is it hang on one two no it's not yet oh, did I I did upgrade right yeah I just haven't changed the thing okay uh, did I No, I've I forgot now move build <laughs> No, not yet. Sorry. You probably still need to upgrade. Did I move? Yeah, I still need to upgrade. So the last one, I, I can't really do that yet. Is it? Yeah. Sorry, sorry. So move was one, which is this one. Mm hmm And then you use this other one to upgrade? Yep. That's already been okay. paid. Uh, I just haven't put the thing yet. Move, build, oh, upgrade. You... That's it. So, so move, upgrade. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I, I can. I can. Sorry. I think you skipped a step here, but. Uh, did I? I move. I build. Okay. So what did you use to build? Just your regular built. action. Move, build. Yeah, that's right. I move a step. Um. Uh, I move the build action. So build is just building, which I have. Right, regular one. Paid. Yeah, regular one. So that is yeah. four dollars. Yeah, I paid that. Uh, yeah, that's it. I paid that, and that's it. That's my three action. Okay. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is what happened when I live stream. Like some, I get distracted a lot, but I love the chat right. as well. Yeah, and I love talking. All right. So here's the plan. We're gonna move four. Ooh. Pretty exciting. Uh, one, mm -hmm. two, three, four, and then I'm gonna build <clears throat> this place and then i'm gonna upgrade upgrade it right away mm -hmm. so this is gonna i have to pay four dollars and then uh well maybe i should do this and 20 games is there a truck door event that burns down the cottages <laughs> there is an event that burns down the cottages sort of there, just... <laughs> there yeah there are um we didn't see them yet, but these four little fire tokens over here for like yeah, marking yeah. parts of the board that are on fire. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I moved and then. All right. So the first one, the build is going to be. I'm going to pay a dollar for. I'm just going to do this one step at a time. Mm -hmm. And then for the second one, I'm going to play this card. Let's me upgrade it um, for $2 less. So that's going to just cost me a dollar. Mm -hmm. for the upgrade and i think my income goes up one i guess just for funsies mm -hmm. just for and that's funsies. the end of the round <laughs> yeah <gasps> Woo. all right okay so what 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 happened yeah no i'm just like we have 
Uh, each of us have six actions left in the game. Mm -hmm. um, so now is the time to make your final moves. Oh. Upgrading Victorian to a landmark is two bucks less. Oh, my oh God. That's my great. God, yeah, it's so great. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I want. <laughs> I'm glad I... All right. Look, can I... Um, in the chat, they actually leave... Uh, legit leave in Cape my Lol, this game looks good. Wow, there you go. We have a special guest here. Uh, we live on the island in Coast Guard housing. I can walk through the areas shown on the board. Pretty cool. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Thanks for sharing that. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and take my turn because I, yep. I took the star yep. player from you. I'm going to upgrade this thing to a landmark for a Cheap a discount, right? Yeah, yeah. How much is it? Two, uh, it's two dollars less. Less. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I got to pay eight for that. Here's a ten. Here's two back. And then, oh, look at all this money I have. <laughs> I'm loaded. And then I, <laughs> I guess for my second action, you were right about that. Loaded at the end. Ah, mm. Colombian pro. Where is? Um, I'm looking for Broadway, the street. Oh. Um, this one, maybe? No. No. Columbia. Here, here. Yeah. Oh, it's over here. It's right here. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a good spot. What? All oh, right. <laughs> Who designed this now? <laughs> I want to. <laughs> Not you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god. I need I need a card I just used. This is not good. Mm. It's fine. Well can I go back can I go backwards? Sure, I can't sure. go backwards. Sure. Alright, so I can uh, I'll play my two. It's gonna cost me two bucks. And that's okay with me. And then we're gonna move two spaces backwards so we can Grab that bird token. Mm -hmm. And that's my go. Mm. I'm just deciding what to do here. Um, commercial. Where are my commercials? Uh, this one. This one. And this one. And this one. Mm -hmm. That's good. All right, I'm gonna use that uh, event to upgrade this to Victoria. Okay. Uh, so how much does it cost? Otherwise, so that is in the in the in the sand, the most expensive one. Usually cost me six. No, ten dollars usually. Usually cost ten. But because the of this upgrades time, are usually ten. Yeah. yeah, because of this is two, and because of this, uh, eight minus three is five dollars. So it's going to cost me five dollars. Cheap upgrade to upgrade. That's a good this deal. Victorian. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Uh, dollars. Let's more now that towards the end. Let's look at that mm -hmm. point again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Victorian and and landmarks scores Victorian so the, okay there you go that's how much it scores so each mm -hmm. of one right in the in the game yep mm, yeah okay. yeah I can't actually get that to that uh, oh there's this one that I can upgrade one two three four five one two three four five oh I don't have where's my five cards Ah, it's in there. <laughs> All right, so I, see it. I have to pick it up, and then that's not going to go well for me. <sighs> One, two, three, four. I can't reach that, unfortunately, because my five card is being used. I've already been using there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, I can move there, but that's going to. Oh, it's not bad actually. One, two, three, four. No, I can't move this too far. Uh, 
Ah, I forgot I've got this. Let's do this. <clears throat> so this card lets me upgrade yeah. any Victorian to landmark anyway. So say any. Yeah. In minus of two. Any. So I would like to do this one here as well. So that's the same price, which is 10 minus two. Oh, no. It's like not. Yeah, you're going to pay six, 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 six dollars. Six, yeah. Six dollars. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, I keep bringing the wrong one. No, that's $10 there. One, two, three, four. And voila, that's my second action. Mm -hmm. And then I would like to build a house next to me as my last action. Okay. Might as well, it's there. It's saved me from moving. Uh, and that so that was going to cost you four. That was four dollars. Yeah, just four dollars. Okay. Um, two, four dollars back. I forgot to move my income, but it doesn't really matter that much, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but that's four dollars. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, fifty-one. Cool, cool, cool. $51. All, All right. right, so that's the end of the round, I believe. Yay, and one more, and that's it. There's always one more turn left, yeah. Oh, gosh, okay. Event. Each player collects $2 for each Victorian and landmark they own in the gravel and grass zone. How much? Two? Uh, two. Two. Gravel and I grass have. is here. Yeah. But it's just the Victorians and landmarks, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. One, one, two, three, four, four. You have one, yes. two, two, two. Okay. I'll take my four dollars. Take my eight dollars. Thank you very much. That was easy. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's nothing bad this time. Woohoo! I think you, you start us off, I think. Uh, yeah, I think so. Because last time was my turn, so it's got to be my turn yeah. again. Yeah. I lost my... Oh, there you go. My objective cards, so I keep losing it. <laughs> I think I've achieved that. I just need to... Oh, that's really hard. No, I'm not going to achieve that. I'm just going to try to collect the points around here. I'm going to upgrade this one next to me to a... Um, a cottage. Sure. And that will uh, cost me $3. No, six I mean, you're going to upgrade it to, to a $6. Victorian, right? Uh, sorry, Victoria, sorry. Um, six dollars? Yeah, six dollars. Mm -hmm. I have money. I'm not worried about that now. Uh, I'm, I'm advancing your income by one. Oh, thank you so much. And then I'm going to upgrade to Landmark now. Ten dollars. Yeah. And increase income by zero. <laughs> yep. I believe. And then anything else? You got one more action. That is my last action, what um, like ever, oh. right? Yep, you have one last action for the there game. There you go. I will build on an empty lot. Yeah. <laughs> Let's. Sorry, kid. I'm gonna be slightly mean here, probably. No, but that's <laughs> that's what it's all about. <laughs> um, there is a majority con uh, control. I can take this if I. Let's say if I build it here. That means the majority would be. Um, or what happens if there's a tie? Yeah, let me let me look that up real quick. So yeah. Um, here we go. Final scoring. Mm -hmm. um, if two more players, well, first I want to read the the two player piece. Yep. Uh, in a two player game, award prestige using the chart below. Do not award prestige for having the second most. So. It's basically the most will go eight, six, four, two for the majorities. Okay. Um, which are, um, we're actually, um, oh, as a side note, we, we, we're accidentally playing on the three and four player side of the board on the oh. one and two player game. Oh, yep. uh, there's a lot more spaces are filled in. Mm -hmm. And then it has the proper majorities listed on the two player side of the board for the two player game. Got but it. it's uh, eight, six, four, two, and then. If 
two two more players are tied for the most. The tied players split the sum of the most, and and uh, you basically split it. Okay, so if I go there, that means we just we deprive you from having a ten points. A six points. I mean, if you <laughs> depriving me from points is probably a good idea, but yeah. Uh, I don't think you actually need to do that to win, but you should do it anyway. <laughs> uh, oh, I can do it in a dirt zone because that actually is better because I get eight. Oh, four. <laughs> oh, actually four. That's not that good. I mean, I, I still get a, a turn to try to turn the tide on the majority, so keep that in mind too. That is actually correct. Where are you right now, Keith? <laughs> Where's your meeple? <laughs> I can't find it. Oh, I don't know. There, up here. In, it's up there, yeah. <laughs> there as well. Can't find, it. Can't find your lady. Ugh. I know on? the parasol is it's like a camo <laughs> parasol. I wish I have one. That's so cool. Ah, okay. So yeah, that you were right. You could you could have like easily come there. Um, but I probably just go somewhere that is not like this one here. Like we pretty much this is Thai because we got one each building. No, actually, we got two each building on this one. I have I have three in. Uh, in the gravel, and you have three in the gravel. Oh, is it by gravel? Okay, right, right, right. Not by area. Yeah. Is it? But this part is part of gravel too, right? Okay. Well, let me just like have a look. So to make sure I get it right, so the building majority per zone, not per lot. Right. Um, and this is just each. Okay. Right. Got it. Uh, this is you, this is you. I can just like make my own and then just don't worry about it. Yeah, I'll, I won't worry about it too much. Uh, <laughs> okay. But if you want it, sorry, if you win, then I'll, I'll regret it then, but it's still like that. Uh, uh, let me just try to pick up the right card and I'm going to build a editing. It's my, no, not my last one. I still have a few. Let's see. This is your last action of the game, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you might have one. You have it one here. You have two here. And no, have I have one, two. And in the sand, I'm at two and you're at uh, five. Okay. In the dirt zone, I'm at three and you're at two. So if you build right there, then we're yeah. tied up. Yeah, let's just that. Let's just not think about it too much. Dirt zone, uh, that cost me... Three dollars. Okay. All right. All right. Oopsie. <laughs> so this is where I, this is where I make my big move. Yeah, I guess. this but, is where you shine. Um, yeah. I mean, I think I have to take the majority in this. Um, yeah. In this gravel Something. zone. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here's a three. Yeah. I will go one, two, three. I would have regret then, my move too late. <laughs> um, and then I will. Build an upgrade uh, to a Victorian, I guess. So that's going to do... I'm going to play this card as, as part of that, which is going to get me a discount of two. So building Cottage to a Victorian mm -hmm. cost me five... Or sorry, four minus two. So I pay two dollars into the bag. And I get to put this Victorian out. And that is the last action of the game. Mm -hmm. So now we uh, we score. Yeah. And so what you do, you take the meeple off your board, and you we're gonna use it to score over here. Let's do that. Uh, or you can use that guy too. I forgot oh, to add my income, but doesn't matter. I just add one. Oh yeah, you can add it if you want. I don't care. I forgot. I think I was um, like, doesn't matter. Yep. All right. So the first thing we look at is the Victorians a landmark. So mm -hmm. let's let's figure out. Um, let's just do it by zone. So, in the gravel zone, how many Victorians? How many Victorians do you have? You get a one per. Uh, I think you got. I think you have two of them. Two, yeah, just two. So you get a point for each one of those. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna move your marker up. Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So oh. here's your two, two, two points for that. Yep. And then, do you have any landmarks in there? I don't think so. Oh, is it two points? Then, two point, the one point per Victorian. Yep, one oh, yeah, in the right. gravel yep. zone. Yeah. Oh. And then, if you don't have any Victorian, or sorry, you don't have any landmarks in the 
gravel zone, so we don't no. care about that. Yeah. And then you have um, in the green zone, you have a landmark and a Victorian, I believe. Yeah, six. So you get seven plus two is uh, oh, seven plus two. nine. Yep, so you get oh, nine sorry, points yes, for that. Yes, yes, yes. So that should take you to 11. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then we'll do the dirt zone. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think you have either landmarks or Victorians there, so nothing for you there. Yeah. And then in the sand zone, you have three uh, landmarks. So that is uh, 33 points. Yeah. So 33 plus 13 is 49, I believe. One. Two, three, uh, plus how many? Thirty, <laughs> plus thirty-three. Ah, oh, so yeah. that's um, 44. forty-four. Yeah, forty-four. I was wrong on the first one. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let me. I'll do mine real quick. Yeah. Um, I've got one Victorian or two Victorians and one landmark in the gravel that'll uh, give me seven. Mm -hmm. And then the grass zone, I have nothing. And then in the <clears throat> the dirt zone, I've got one Victorian and one landmark. Yep. So that will give me um, nine plus three, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Where's your so uh, that... Victorian in the dirt? Oh, you're right. You're right. This is not. I only have yeah. this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just one Victorian, right. the, the better one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I go to 16 on that. And then in the, that's all right. I just have this one right here. Right? Uh, so that's going to take me to so. 20. What's that? Do I have two? Oh, I have two landmarks, right? So one, seven. Uh, in, where's the other one? This is the oh, dirt side. Oh, I told this. Yeah, it's only yeah, this yeah. one right here. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, this one. So I'll just take the 28 points. So that's, uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Anyway, so that's the Victorian's landmarks, mm -hmm. and now we do the majority. Um, and I think in the gravel zone, I have it. Mm -hmm. One, two, I three, so. four. You have no, it's tied actually. One, two, three, four, and you have one, two, three, four. Oh yeah. Oh no, this is, yeah, yeah, that yeah. counts. Oh, I should have built it there. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so for each. We each get four. I mean, okay. we can. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we can just not move it. Right. I yeah. mean, that's the other thing. Yeah. Um, and then the majority of the green zone and the grass zone, I think you have two or three and I have none. Right. So you've got these three right here. Yeah. Yeah. So you obviously have the majority. Yeah. Uh, you get six points for that. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Yeah. And Oops. then like, you're, you know, technically you're supposed to, oops. You're supposed to kind of put this over here like hey oh yeah okay. um and then um uh we're doing the sand zone now right mm -hmm. oh and the um the dirt oh, we've just done the dirt right i believe that was the grass I'm sorry no that was the grass one we haven't oh scored. yeah 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 score you for the dirt i so get you... i get the dirt right yeah, yeah yeah you should you should get the dirt one like... two three yeah i don't have any no, I have, this is mine. I only have two in the dirt. Right, I have uh, three. Yeah, oh, okay. I see. You have this one and this one and this one. Three. Yeah. And I have this one, this one, this one, this three. Oh. That's tied. Yeah. Okay. So we're just not going to move them if that's okay. Okay. And then um, on the sand zone, I you've got a lot more than me. One, two, three, four, five. I have one, two. So then you get the uh, the two points for that. I'll move you. Yep. Done. All right. So then uh, do you have any upgrade cards that have points on them? Yes, yes. Oh, not upgrade card. Just these ones. Yeah. I've got these seven points right here. So I just get those right now. Oh, yeah. So that takes me to 39. Mm -hmm. And then uh, bird sets. Let's see it. Oh yeah, birds. Oh, I forgot about birds. I only have two birds. Are they different? <laughs> yeah. All right, you get two points. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
I have four and a one. So one, two, three. Eight. Yep, I get eight points for that. Okay, I'll move it. So... Thank you. Should we? Yep, 47. 20. And then. And then. End game. Well, dun, dun, dun. Yeah, so the bonus cards. Here we go. What, is, what, what bonus cards did you have? I have have at least two Victorians and all landmarks in three different zones. So uh, this zone, yeah, the dead zone, and I'm sure there's... You got it in two different places, huh? right? Isn't that three? You needed it. You need three Victorians or landmarks in two zones. Is that what it says? Sorry, I'll start again. I have at least two Victorians and all landmarks in three different... Oh, no. Did I actually stuff that up? So one in dirt two in sand and three in grass yeah oh okay isn't it it says at least two victorians so you have and all two in grass yeah 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 Is that... so two in the you meet gra the hmm? gravel yeah i think you meet it yep yeah you I didn't get the bonus though no right? no no i don't right so you get seven points for that one yeah and the other one says have at least one victorian or landmark and it and at least one commercial building in all four zones. I, I'm pretty okay. sure I do. Or maybe if, not. If at least one I keep like, okay. yeah, I keep like checking it, make sure that it, <laughs> I've got it. Yeah, so um, you are blue. Mm -hmm. Do I have Victorian or landmark and one commercial in four zones? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sam, yes. Dirt. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't. Yes. Yep. 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 I'm pretty sure grass as well. Yeah. And this one here. I've always oh it's over here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey. Sounds good. Yay. If at least two buildings in two of these zones are adjacent to each other. No, I I didn't even look at that one. <laughs> ah. If at least two buildings yeah. in adjacent. two of these zones. Like this is adjacent. Uh, and this yeah. is, I don't know how two building in, two, or maybe it is. It doesn't really matter, does it? Like, hopefully I'll win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to win, I'm sure. But I... Um, so is this adjacent, right? Uh, no. Oh, Across really. the street is not adjacent. Oh, right. Yeah, then not. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's not worth it. It's two points. And I was like, nah. All right. So you got you get your, uh, 17, your 15 points, right? Yep. Got it. Okay. I didn't do so well on mine, uh, but this one said, have at least three buildings in the gravel zone and at least three buildings in the dirt zone. And that I accomplished. Yeah. Um, but I didn't get four in each one. Uh, I only got three. Three. Which, okay. But uh, whatever. I got, the, I got the first part. So six points. Yeah. I'll take those. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where's and then the second one. Where is it? Oh, this is my mind. It's in my hand. Uh, no, it. that's not. I it. got it. Oh, that's your, oh. your card. Okay, this one. Oh yeah. Have, Have the most Ooh. buildings. I gotta see. That is that one. So I think you do. One, two, three. Yeah, only your build. Oh, I only four. have one building. So I have one, two, three, four, five buildings. I, I have believe. one. Yeah, so you you got. Well, one. you have three. You got actually four. These four buildings are all in that zone. Hang on. One, two. Oh yeah. So it was close. I have one, two, three, four, five, and you have. Mm -hmm. Uh. I gotta pick up that card and look at it. At the yeah, board. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is easier, obviously, in the physical game the because yeah. you can just collect it and then just grab it. So up to yeah. here. This is the dividing line. Oh, okay. I think. Oh, so you may have gotten it. So you've got one, two, three, four. Not not this one. Like from here right. to the left. Right. right. But it includes this. It includes this this row. Oh so yeah. So you've got it one, two, one. three, four, five, six, seven buildings. And I've oh, got no. one, two, <laughs> Sorry. three, four, five. So yeah, you, you that one didn't work out for me, but that's okay. Yeah. So that's it. Um, 
Anything well, oh, then money. whatever. Yeah, money. money. Money is one each if per ten. Yeah. Oh, wrong one. I, I I get three points. Okay, I got three points as well. You're right. Like at the end, you got quite a lot of money. Lots of money. Yeah, it's, I mean, we both went pretty heavy on income. I thought you oh, were yeah. going too heavy on income, and like, but it didn't matter. I had made a couple of pretty awful mistakes along the way, but I, yeah. that's that's Kate May. You know, you are the the winner of the day here in mm -hmm. Kate May. I really like it. I really. One day when when we got um got the physical copy, I'll get Tarrant to play this as well. So, yeah. Um, this is really good. It's it's a I like it. You know, it's like there's. I do think there's kind of a there's this idea of like an economic board game, and I feel yep. like there aren't that many of them that come out uh, like ec yeah. more economic stuff no, than there no. used to be. That's right. Um, mind you, I do like economic games, and Taron Taron reminded me of this. As I say, like you, you play like we play Fuchs and Magnates, and like I want, oh, like, yeah. more, I, I want most of the times. Um, so maybe it's something that I, I do enjoy. Not all the time, but probably, I don't know. I, oh, I, can't, yeah, yeah. I can't figure out how, but I I, can't, I like it. And there's not a lot this year yet, this economic game. And of course you like it because otherwise you wouldn't sign the designer, right? To... Right, right. <laughs> and I like it because it was like an economic game, but it wasn't like crazy heavy, right? Like, yeah, um, it's still kind of a medium weight game, but it's kind of about buying and buying stuff and being... Econo like economical with both your actions and with your yeah. money and yeah um yeah it's, I, have, I like it you, um i think you you're probably right i might have gone a little bit a little bit heavy on the commercial at the start uh but then you know income was really hard and then we ended up with almost the same amount of money at the end i think yeah yeah i, I mean i burned a bunch of actions getting money when i i probably should have been building so heavy uh... in the sand zone at the beginning so I would have had more money to kind of just build more buildings. Yeah. Um, like I know, you know, there is a strategy where you just go heavy on gravel and just like spread out as much as you can. And then you still have money when everybody else is kind of running out or, you know, things like that can happen, which are kind of fun. And yeah. it also depends on what, what goal cards you have. Right. That's so like, right. Yeah, absolutely. I was, I was trying to play to my goal cards and uh, you were too, but yeah. Um, like I, I accidentally stop you from getting to one of your gold cards. Like I, I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, and yeah, that's, that's okay. right. And the two gold cards, you try to make it kind of like help each other. Mm. Like uh, this is kind of like help me as well. So like kind of like overlap a little bit from one to the other. Yeah. You um, want to find ones that aren't like trying to do the opposite things, right? Yes. Because yes. then it's going to be hard to complete them both. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a question and a uh, question here from uh, N20 Games. May I ask how uh, about how many event cards are uh, and they're in the deck? Will each game see many of the same events? Sure. Um, Let's have a look. There at are fifteen more. I'm gonna look at the the rule book quick. Uh, but every every event card is unique. Um, and uh, just to double check, there's twenty six different event cards. So. Um, there you go. I'm you know, opening it. The rest. I'm opening the rest of it. Yeah. Uh oh. It's so there's mess. twenty. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's twenty six event cards, and they uh, all unique. And you'll see twelve. Uh, we'll see. You'll see eleven per game. Yeah. So. There you go, and that's the fire one. East side fire. Place fire tokens on the board as shown. All built and upgrade action in this region costs two dollars more this round. So that's good. It's not like oh, you're gonna lose your building or anything like that. We we don't want to see the right. Euro games, I guess. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Uh, but yeah, there's three fire cars. There's the yeah. east side, the west side, that's and the right. central. Yeah. There you go. And they they all kind of the flavor text on each one of those kind yeah. of talk a lot about the big fire that they had. Um, in 1878. Uh oh, is it a spoilers? Tim says it's spoilers. <laughs> Great, thanks. Uh, I don't think it's a spoiler. I think I'll definitely have to give this um, title to my Jersey friends. There you go. There you uh, go. Coralu, are there any quicksand and flooding events that will collapse your house? So it's on the sand. There's no. No. Nah. Yeah. So that's good. It's not like to take that ish. Beautiful. Right. Yeah. Little game releasing in action and Tim reckons I've been elected mayor of the Cape May. Thank you, Mayor, mayor Stella. <laughs> well, that's basically is everybody. Um, I sorry I missed some of your your uh, nice remarks um, as well. So 
I haven't actually. Did you know that the Harriet Tubman ran the Underground Rail around through Cape May? Uh, they just finished restoring the original house and turned it into a museum. That's amazing. Oh, there you go. Thanks for sharing this. Go. All the the story. I think um, it's it makes it a little bit more like even more thematic. Like all these event cards is based on something, and then all the beautiful boards. So. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Keith, again for you know playing playing here with me and then just showing people how it plays. Yeah, it's fun. And letting me win as well. Okay. <laughs> uh, you you stomped me handily. And, uh, uh, you got distracted. Um, and again, this is pre-order is um, available on the video description. I put the link through your shop or yeah. um, your local friendly friendly game, game store. shop. Yeah, game shop. Game yep. store. Yeah. Yeah. And you are, um, where can people find you? Obviously, and Thunderworks Games everywhere. And yes. Thunderworksgames.com is my website. You can yeah. find me on Twitter mm -hmm. at Thunderworks G A M without the E S at the end because I ran out of characters. <laughs> yeah, I um, <laughs> And, uh, I mean, I'm, we're on Facebook. Uh, there's a Thunderworks Games Facebook page you can find us on. Um, but yeah, we're, you know, uh, Thunderworks is very easy to get a hold of. And, uh, you know, I pride myself on being really responsive as well. So you do, if you, you do. have any questions, questions, comments, complaints, you can keep the complaint. No, okay. If you want to make a complaint, you can. But, uh, yeah, just reach out. <laughs> like, reach out. Give the complaint to Tim, who's also on the chat, and then <laughs> anything yeah. else to you. <laughs> yeah. So I'll just forward all the complaints to Tim. <laughs> so Tim's also from Thunderworks Games. So thanks, Tim, for uh, staying around here uh, on the yeah. chat. Uh, and everyone else, thank you so much for staying around with us. And maybe stay tuned, maybe not. We might have something else after this um, at the end. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye. We're back here for the secret ending where I torture Keith with my bad dead tricks. So, uh, she stays around. So, we can see. Uh, or you can also try to answer if you like. Uh, Keith? Yes. So, we're talking about shops earlier, and one of them is actually a bakery. And speaking about bakery, what did yeah. the baker give his wife for Valentine's Day? Uh, I don't know. Candy and flowers. Ba -bow. <laughs> so bad. Um, all right. And <laughs> all right, here we go. Yeah. So and one the, and what the other shops? It's actually a gym where the people can do some boxing. <laughs> and right. When do boxers dress up in tuxedos? Uh, <laughs> and the answer when do is... boxers dress up in tuxedos? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't all know. Right, all right. The answer is when they want to look sophisticated. Oh, I thought you were saying they look, <laughs> they look striking as well. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. One more. One more torture and that's it. Yeah. Um... Where do you mail your clothes? Where do I mail my clothes? Yeah. To your home address. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> really? Is that is that the real answer? It is the real answer. Where where uh, do you mail your clothes? To your home address. To your home, right. Your home address. It's like, what is that? Uh, that's so bad. Like, what the hell? Like, what are these? <laughs> but is it like... Is your home a dress like home, a dress? Is uh, that... Dress. So oh, okay. A dress, I, I think. I think so. You know, maybe I missed it. The worst jokes. 
<laughs> the worst jokes are the ones you have to explain, right? Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. well, oh, here's a good one. Okay, one more because that was so bad. Yeah, give me, give me a bonus one. Okay, bonus. Give me one, one, one last one. What did George Washington call his his false teeth? Speaking about teeth in his, the conversation before, what right. did George what did Washington wa call his call his oh. false teeth? Um, I I don't know. I don't know. Just tell me. <laughs> Pressy dentures. <laughs> dentures. <laughs> Pressy dentures. Pressy dentures. Pressy dentures. Pressy dentures. Okay. Yeah. Oh, now it's coming together. <laughs> it. Now it's coming together. Uh, Coral Pre say, my presidentials. That's it. Third presidentials. Pressy dentures. Yeah. Dentures. Uh, uh, okay. And this one's slightly better. And Coral will say it must be a home a dress. Home address. Right. Yeah, that, that must be it. Yeah, you're right. So that's it, everybody. Right. That's it for now for real. And thank you for everyone for chatting and watching and Keith here for being tortured yeah. as well and playing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Bye you. everyone. Oh, boy.